Welcome and thank you so much for joining me today and a big thank you to the Cruise Web for inviting me to present Holland America Line and cruising with us during the holidays. Um, today we're going to specifically focus um, in the Caribbean. Um, now whether you've cruised with us before or not, I hope that I can encourage you to come join us for your next vacation. Um, at the end of this presentation we'll have some time for questions and answers and I encourage you to submit your questions via the chat box at any time throughout this presentation. Um, again, my name is uh, Andrew Davis, and I'm a Senior Manager of National Accounts with Holland America Line, and I'll be uh, your host today. And again, thank you for joining me. So today I'll be covering um, the following, I'll be touching on the following areas. Um, the Holland America Line experience, why Holland America Line, um, holidays on board with Holland America Line, I'll uh, provide some updates on our health and safety protocols, review some current promotions that we have going on, including a special offer for you, for just for you for joining us today on this webinar. And then at the end, we'll have some time for questions and answers. So again, I encourage you to type in any questions that you may have throughout the presentation in the chat box. So Holland America Line is the premium cruise line dedicated to explorers, foodies, and music lovers who want perfectly sized, refreshingly uncrowded ships filled with one-of-a-kind of experiences. Now, I'm not going to, I'm going to touch on each of the topics, uh, each of the headings below throughout the presentation. So um, first up, let's talk about explorers. Um, Holland America Line uh, creates, has carefully creates journeys and unique destination programming to get more from the places that you'll visit. For nearly 150 years um, of experience sailing the world's oceans, we have offered more than 500 itineraries connecting with over 470 ports of call around the world. And then we also offer our exclusive Exploration Central, which I'll touch on later in the presentation. But this is our destination programming that gives you a deeper understanding of the places that you visit um, with local cultural insights, insider travel tips, unique shore excursions, and much more. Um, we, you know, at Holland America Line, we term our guests the modern explorer. And based on research, we know that uh, the modern explorer, um, they've worked hard and earned the opportunity to travel in comfort and style. They're at a stage in their life when they have the flexibility to travel when they want, and they're active, forever curious, and are looking to live life to the fullest. These are travelers that seek memorable and engaging experiences rather than buying more things. And they appreciate quality, value, and personalized touches that make them feel special and cared for. And they like to go to places beyond the shore and, tip, and truly immerse themselves in, an, in amazing new places and experiences. Now, we're not looking, you know, these, these travelers are not looking for things like water slides, go-karts, roller coasters, or rock climbing walls when they cruise. They're explorers, foodies, and music lovers just like you who want to pursue their passions on refreshingly uncrowded ships with one-of-a-kind culinary experiences, the very best in live music, and staff that attends to their every detail every day. Speaking of food, um, Holland America Line is for foodies. We offer unrivaled culinary experiences uh, you know, for us, it's not about the quantity of the dining venues. It's all about the quality, no matter where you dine on the ship. We offer several different options depending on the ship that, you're, that you'll be sailing on, including the dining room, which is our flagship dining experience for, for breakfast, a leisurely lunch, or a multi-course dinner. Um, we also have on all of our ships the Pinnacle Grill. Now, this is our premier specialty restaurant for impeccable steak, seafood, and wine. And then uh, on all of our ships, we also offer Canaletto, which is our authentic Italian-style cuisine served family style. And then on, uh, on, several, on a few of our ships, we also have uh, Tamarind, which is our, um, this is inspired by culinary traditions of Southeast Asia, China, and Japan. Um, we do have a lot more different options, including dive-in burgers for a, a, a quick uh, casual bite. Uh, and then also we offer the Lido Marketplace. Uh, and then 
other, all, other restaurants as well, depending on the ship that you're sailing on. But just know that regardless of which dining venue you're, you're going to dine in, you're going to have an incredible experience with um, menus that have been put together by our um, Culinary Council. And speaking of our Culinary Council, we're the only cruise line that has a dedicated that has a dedicated council of seven world-renowned chefs, plus experts in wine as well as spirits, who design our onboard dining experiences. You know, when you're when you're on Holland America Line, you're going to enjoy a variety of flavors as varied as the destinations we visit, whether it's in one of our specialty restaurants, our main dining room or any of our pop-up dining experiences. We also offer one-of-a-kind culinary enrichment experiences through live cooking demonstrations, as well as culinary shore excursions in partnership with Food & Wine Magazine, which I'll touch on a little bit later in the presentation. I do wanna introduce you really quickly to our Culinary Council. Um, no, they're not here with me today, I wish they were, um, but this is just a quick overview of who our Culinary Council is. You may recognize a few of these from television, including um, the season 10 winners, Kristen Kish from um, uh, Top Chef. So the, the, what's great about our Culinary Council is each one of these members has a unique um, point of view and brings their expertise on board our ships and train our staff in their, in their style of culinary um, excellence. You know, Holland America Line is also for music lovers. We offer the best in live music, there's no cruise line out there that puts music as up front and center as we do. Only Holland America Line offers so many opportunities to enjoy memorable performances from world-class musicians. There's live music for every taste at Lincoln Center Stage, BB King Blues Club, Billboard Onboard, Rolling Stone Rock Room, and many more. Now, all of these live music venues are available on, on all of our ships, with the exception of Rolling Stone Rock Room, which is currently only rolled out to two of our ships, and will be debuting on a our, our will be on a, our third ship that will be a debuting in um, later uh, in this summer. You know, you know, our ships are made for live music. Um, you know, you may ask, how can we claim the best live music at sea? Well, like I mentioned, there's no other cruise line that offers so many opportunities to enjoy live music performances from world-class musicians. Um, we're the only cruise line to have this level of dedication to the very best quality of live music in these types of partnerships. We're not just, we're not talking about just a house band that roams around the ship. These are seasoned musicians, experts in their genre, selected specifically for each of these venues. Um, we our, our exclusive partnerships uh, offering live music from every taste at our exclusive music walk and it's one and, and one of a kind of experiences at our world stage um, all of the music walk venues are currently available on two of our ships as well as our third ship the Rotterdam that will be coming out uh, later this year um, Lincoln Center Stage BB King Blues Club Billboard Onboard and, and uh, those are available on all of our ships and then the world stage also features uh, shows like One Step Dance Company, as well as a few other uh, options. Now, most cruise lines, you know, they tend to focus on Broadway, Broadway style production shows. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. And of course, we have our own unique production shows as well, like uh, Step One Dance Company, for example. But no one else has committed to this focus on music. Um, others have started to try to copy it, copy us, but it's on a very limited basis. Um, we also have an incredible partnership with BBC Earth to bring you an unforgettable new way to experience the world's natural wonders. Um, through, the, through the innovative and breathtaking programming, um, you'll be taken closer to the ocean and the natural world through groundbreaking concerts and film. Um, several of the different experiences that we offer include Planet Earth 2 in concert, Alaska in concert, Inside Earth, uh, oops, I'm so sorry, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oops, go back one more. Okay, there we go. Inside Earth is another one, um, as well as Blue Planet 2, an underwater adventure. So these are some of the different BBC um, films that you can experience with live music on board our ships. Um, earlier, I mentioned our, our uh, Exploration Central. Now, this is, our, um, this is a place where you can discover the connections that unite us 
across borders and cultures. Exploration Central is an immersive onboard programming designed to make your journey more engaging, more vivid, and more meaningful. From EXC talks to EXC encounters to chat with your EXC guides, you'll feel the spirit of the, of the region that you're cruising in come to life. Now, just to kind of give you a broader um, description of what this, what EXC or Exploration Central's in, Exploration Central encompasses, first of all, we have EXC guides. Um, let's say, for instance, you're about to enter a Buddhist temple and you have the question, should you cover your head or take off your shoes? You're not really sure. Well, your EXC guide, they know. You're going to gain insights about everything from good manners and simple, useful phrases to the best tours, most popular sites, and insider tips from our, from our EXC guides. Now, EXC encounters, um, this is where uh, we play steel drums with musicians from Trinidad. You can practice Tai Chi with a Chinese master. You can learn whether to smile or extend your hand in greeting with it, greet or extend your hand in greeting when in Dakar. Um, you can also dive, delve into each destination's cultures with local experts, artisans, and performers who are come on board our ships. And then our EXC talks is where you can listen to listen to stories of local lore, learn about favorite haunts and inside insider history. Informative EXE talks help deepen your appreciation of each new destination that you're going to visit with the kinds of tales that only the locals know. And these are available on board our ships. And then, of course, short excursions. These are designed to enhance your travel experience when you're in a port. Um, our short excursions enable you to encounter fascinating cultures, places, and people in a way that is comfortable, authentic, and transform transformative. They're available in the most of our more than 470 ports that we cruise to around the world. Um, you know, and then I, I also mentioned earlier that we're that uh, we are known for our renowned we're known for our renowned service. Um, we're especially known for this, and it's about every detail every day. Our crew's unique warmth and personalized attention earn rave reviews that in that turn first-time guests into loyalists. Um, and uh, I like to share this slide of fresh flowers because that's what we focus on with, at Holland America Line. You know, throughout the ships, uh, you're going to see lots of fresh flowers in all different types of arrangements um, that are refreshed throughout your cruise. And we really focus on those small little touches that really people don't tend to pay much attention to, but you can sense that they're there. All right. And then I mentioned earlier our perfectly sized ships. You know, our ships are are perfectly sized and refreshingly uncrowded. Um, they're known for we're known for our timeless design and our spaciousness that we that we um, on on the way that we build our ships. Um, our ships are very sleek. They have those those really beautiful sleek nautical lines, the distinctive deep blue hulls, and then of course our wraparound decks. So you know our our ships are designed to have as much outdoor deck space as we possibly can. So what's great is on these on our ships that are that are refreshingly uncrowded, there's always going to be space for you at at the uh, railing of any deck that you want to be out on without having to stand behind someone. It's also about our thoughtfully designed suites and staterooms, as well as providing museum quality art on board all of our ships, as well as I'm like I mentioned earlier, fresh flowers. So we truly are a cruise line that builds ships that look just like ships. So just uh, our ships are, are pur purposely, purposely, purposely built as well to be able to cruise around the world in all seven oceans. Um, so real quick, I'll touch on some of our, our cabins, just kind of so you can give you a quick shot of some of our cabins. But this is our, one of our cabins. This is a Neptune suite. So you can kind of see the the uh, design of what we we put into them so uh, and what they kind of look like so they're very light very airy um, this particular cabin uh, is about five, just over 500 square foot um, and comes with a lot of extra amenities because it is a suite um, if you have questions about our suites please uh, please drop those in the chat box or feel free to reach out to your travel counselor at the cruise web and they'll be happy to answer any questions you have all right, so moving forward, um, you know, just to reiterate, you know, we are the cruise line that's dedicated to explorers, foodies, and music lovers who want to pursue your, these passions on all seven seas and continents. 
again, these are these are folks that you don't need water slides, you don't need water, roller coasters or go-karts, but that you want to be on perfectly sized, refreshingly uncrowded ships that are filled with one of a kind of experiences. So just keep in mind that you're not gonna find those things, the water slides, the go-karts, the roller coasters on board a Holland America ship. Not now, not never. And I've mentioned this a few times, we truly do cruise all over the world, um, over 500 cruises a year, reaching more than 100 countries and touching on touching up more than 470 ports of call around the world. And today I wanna to dive a little bit deeper into the Caribbean. Now, when it comes to cruising the Caribbean, Holland America Line's itineraries combine relaxation and discovery. Perfect white sandy beaches, swaying palm trees, historical beauty, and the rich and vibrant cultures of the Caribbean islands are waiting for you, are waiting to be explored when you travel with Holland America Line. When we say the true Caribbean, what we mean is we help immerse you in the places that we visit. Because no matter where you choose to sail with us, you're going to have an amazing opportunity to go beyond the usual tourist track and experience amazing new places and cultures in an authentic way. Holland America Line's exclusive Exploration Central destination programming is designed to deepen your understanding of the places that we visit. Um, they're, they're indispensable, these are indispensable travel resources and opportunities to engage with our own experts as well as local insiders, making your um, making exploring each port of call more vivid and more meaningful. You know, one of the best examples I touched on earlier was the EXC talks. Um, just to kind of go a little bit deeper into what that is, you know, these aren't just your standard lectures and port talks. All American Line guests um, will get an insider's perspective and hear the kind of stories only locals know at these inform informative onboard talks, plus uh, on Select Ships EXC Talks features multimedia presentations that bring each, de each destination to vibrant life with captivating storytelling, expert commentary, and stirring audio, video, and imagery. Now this page shows a few examples of the talks included on our Caribbean sailings. Um, in addition to you know, our EXC Talks, you can also take advantage of our Port to Table where you can explore each region's culinary traditions through our onboard cooking demonstration and our food and wine tastings. Um, we, you can also, um, our naturalists, we bring, which offer onboard workshops, wildlife spotting on deck, and in uh, really just incredible excursions that bring you much more close and personal to, the, to wildlife when you're traveling with us. Um, you can engage with local cultural experts, artists, and performers while sharing the best of the destination's history and traditions. Um, and then on, on, uh, on select ships, you can drop by the Exploration Central Discovery Center up in the Crow's Nest and find interactive touch screens, digital stories, and real-time data from the ship's bridge. Now, I'll, I want to touch on why top, what, what the top reasons are to cruise with Holland America Line uh, in the Caribbean. And I'll start by sharing some of these as we go through it. So we're especially known for the popularity of our 10 day or longer itineraries. Now you can choose from a wide array of 10 to 14 day voyages to extend your time uh, in the islands and take full advantage of amazing onboard experiences. We often hear from those who have cruised with, it, who have cruised with other lines that once they try Holland America, They'll never go back to anyone else. When seven days is perfect for your schedule, we offer the, the best combinations of ports of call, including our private island, Half Moon Key, which I'll go into, share a little bit more information about that in just a couple of minutes. We do allow you to stay longer in ports, as you'll see on some of the itineraries that I'll share with you, meaning we stay later at night. Um, and then we also offer collector voyages, which are, uh, offer more in-depth itineraries. Uh, and then, Authentic, again, I mentioned Exploration Central, where we really offer you that authentic destination experience. And then premium cruising at its best. You know, I've mentioned um, several times about the size of our ships, about the amenities that are offered on board. We truly are a premium cruise line, um, offering the best, best premium cruising um, experience 
on the seas. You know, I mentioned our private island, but uh, when I say premium cruising, uh, I'm sorry, when I, I mentioned pre premium cruising, when I say that, don't just take my word for it. Um, these are just a few of the wards that have acknowledged the excellence of our, of our cruise experience. We've been acknowledged both for the premium onboard experience, but also for how we show our guests the places that we view. And again, these are just a few examples of the uh, awards that we have won over the years um, throughout by different uh, magazines, as well as uh, Cruise Critic, as well as uh, where, where individual travelers actually vote on these uh, awards. All right, now all of our Caribbean cruises include one of my most favorite places in the world, which is Half Moon Key, which is Holland America Line's very own 2,400 acre private island paradise in the Bahamas. Uh, it is the most authentic, highly rated private island experience in the region. And we have won, uh, Holland America Line has won best private island for 20 consecutive years by the readers of Porthole Cruise Magazine. So we are incredibly proud to have that distinction. Um, the, the, I'll share a lot more details with you about our private line, but one visit, and it's easy to see why so many Holland America Line guests relate to this sign that says, I wish I could stay here forever. Um, uncrowded, it's unspoiled. It combines the unparalleled natural beauty of a protected preserve with access to a wide range of amenities and activities. With miles of pristine white sand beach, you can stay busy all day or simply just enjoy the solitude. Holland America Line acquired this beautiful island 23 years ago to create a unique and memorable experience for our Caribbean and Panama Canal, Panama Canal cruise guests. So no matter which itinerary you travel with us on in the Caribbean, your, your itinerary is gonna include a stop at Half Moon Key. All right, so I mentioned uh, miles of white sand beaches. Um, you can horseback ride. There's a grill. You can you can enjoy grilled lobster from the lobster shack. Um, amazingly clear blue water, and the sand is the type of sand that when you step in it, it doesn't stick to your stick to you. It just falls right off. It's an incredibly soft sugar white sand. It's just incredible. Um, I've been to the private island several times. Um, I've rented cabanas, which I'll share information with you in a minute on. I've also done nothing and just laid in a deck chair um, and just enjoyed. Uh, on the back side of the island, there's just all types of trails that you can walk along, really to just immerse yourself in the natural, untouched beauty of this island, if, that, if you're looking to do that. Um, so the ultimate private island, you know, guess you can choose your own adventure here at Half Moon Key. It's designed to delight you. You can unwind with a relaxing massage. You can shop for a hat at one of the markets. You can uh, discover what we call Bonefish Lagoon in a glass bottom boat. You can kayak. You can uh, really put on some snorkeling gear and make friends with a stingray. Lots and lots of things for you to do. So. There are so many fun things to do on the beach that it might be hard for you to choose what to do. You can paddleboard. You can just lay in the ocean and enjoy that. There's all types of activities, like I mentioned. Um, you can also, on a short excursion, you can also ride horseback through the surf. So really, really cool, as you can see in the picture at the top, on the top of your screen of the horses in the surf. This is what we're very well known for our horses in the surf there at the islands. Um, it's fun even if you don't want to ride the horse just to kind of watch uh, and watch how they how 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 they the horses just enjoy that water so much. Um, again, and I mentioned the backside of the island where it's just incredibly untouched. It's natural beauty. Um, the bah Bahamian National National Trust has designated this island as a wild bird wild bird preserve. Um, the island's bonefish grill, I'm sorry, bonefish lagoon is a protected wetland habitat, providing a breeding ground for bonefish, sharks, and turtles. And that's on the back side of the island, not, not on the same side of the island where you enjoy the sand and, the, and you see the, the ship docked, it's on the back side. So lots and lots of activities, or you can just lay, lay you can just lounge around on one of the complimentary uh, chairs and enjoy the day laying in the sun. Um, Let's see, there is a complimentary barbecue lunch included when um, on Half Moon Key, uh, but we also have the option, uh, or you also have the option of visiting our Lobster Shack for a special menu. 
Now the lobster shack is located where located near that sign that I just showed you. I wish I could stay here forever, which is also there's a bar right there as well. Um, but it serves fresh grilled lobster with Caribbean coconut beans and rice and a rum jerk butter glaze. It's absolutely incredible. Um, absolutely love the lobster shack and some of the best freshest uh, lobster I've ever had and just incredible and then of course there's all types of drinks that you can purchase and you don't need to worry about taking currency you just use your room your cabin room kit card and everything is put on to your ship board account so lots of great things for you to enjoy there at the lobster shack uh, and it's very reasonable great lunch experience as well as I mentioned um, and then I, I want to just kind of touch about this. You know, we have on our private home, we have these beautiful cabanas and villas that you can rent. So if you're traveling with other folks, this is a great experience. And I'll show you a picture in the next slide of, the, of a cabana like what I rented. Um, but this particular cabana you're seeing on your screen now, this, is, this cabana is our two-story villa. The two-story villa would be perfect for up to eight guests. Um, it does offer, what's great about these villas is when you, reserve them, um, you're gonna be one of the first folks to board the tender to get off the ship to get onto the private island. Um, and these particular um, villas uh, are gonna have air conditioning, they're gonna have, uh, has a hot tub, a five person hot tub, a, a, a mini refrigerator, ceiling fans. Um, I mentioned air conditioning, there's a dining area. Um, when you reserve these, you get fresh fruit and snacks. Um, you can also do add-ons like a like a uh, butler service if you wanted to do an additional add-on, um, and then of course you get snorkeling gear as well as floating masks. When floating mats, I'm sorry, floating mats when you reserve these. So these are great. You can certainly reserve these in advance, and um, I encourage you to do that through your travel advisor or through our shore excursion desk. Um, and then also they're perfect for groups. So if you're traveling with two or three other cabins it's great to be able to share this experience on our private island. Now, if you're traveling, let's just say as a, a couple or maybe it's a fam maybe you and your, your children are with you and you wanna do something a little bit smaller, we also offer these private um, four-person cabanas as well. Again, they're gonna have a small air conditioner or a, a, an air conditioner, as you can see in the background, a fan, it's gonna come with some snacks. Again, you'll get floating mass, mats and snorkel gear as well. And what's nice is on both the four, the two story as well as this this cabana, there's a little shower that you can uh, off the side of it where you can wash all the sand off you if you want, or wash the salt water off you, I should say, if you want before you go in and enjoy a nice snack or even order uh, lunch from the lobster shack to be delivered to you. And again, you can add on a beverage package or upgrade a butler service if you'd like as well. Uh, and then if you're thinking about getting married or maybe you want to have a really unique island wedding or you want to renew your vows, we actually have a wedding chapel on our private island. Um, and we have full planning services available. If you're um, interested in that, I, I highly recommend that you reach out to your travel advisor. They can get you more information on our weddings and <laughs> get you in contact with our wedding planning partner, who is Royal Ocean Events, just so, you're, um, just so you know that. So now that I've shared a lot of information about our private island, I want our private island, Half Moon Key, I just want to share a, a couple of highlights of some different itineraries and point out some things about our itineraries. Now, this is just to give you an example. I'm not going to walk you through everything, but I want you to understand what types of different itineraries we offer in the Caribbean. So this is a, a standard Eastern Caribbean seven-day itinerary uh, with Holland America Line. One thing I want to point out, if you'll look on your screen at San Juan where you see the moon, that means we stay late in the evening in San Juan. So we stay really late, so we get there early, we stay late, you can enjoy a full day in San Juan as well as experience old San Juan in the evening, have dinner out and board your ship, board the ship before we decide to depart out for the next port of call. Um, you know, and some, uh, <coughs> let's see, pardon me. <clears throat> Another great itinerary is our Western Caribbean itinerary. Um, and again, this is round trip from Fort Lauderdale as well. It, this can be a seven or eight day cruise, depending on what you prefer to do, which itinerary you take. Again, five ports of call. And then if you'll notice that the moon again on Cozumel, we stay late in Cozumel on this itinerary. Now, what's great about these two itineraries is you can do, like I mentioned earlier, we have those collector voyages. 
these itineraries are designed so that you could book them back to back, meaning you could book on the same ship an Eastern Caribbean and then stay on the ship and do the Western Caribbean for the next sailing and not and only visit the only port that you would share on this particular I back to back would be Half Moon Key. So you get two incredible days at Half Moon Key. And I'd be so jealous of you because again, that's one of my favorite places in the Caribbean to go to. All right. And then I'll share with you one of our our what I call our southern or deep southern uh cruises this is a seafarer i personally have done this cruise i uh before i love this cruise i love these longer cruises 10 days seven ports late night evenings in both bonaire and curacao which are two incredible islands off uh the off the uh pardon me uh, just two incredible islands in the in the southern caribbean um as well as aruba um so these are great 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 destinations and again you're still going to get like i mentioned you're going to get half moon key at every single itinerary in the caribbean with us so i just like to sh i'm just again highlighting some of the different itineraries that you could choose to cruise with us over the holidays or even if you're not traveling if you decide that you don't want to travel over the holidays you could travel with us um, after the holidays in the caribbean this year um, and then one of my favorite panama canal i absolutely love this cruise you know if you if you're if you I would say that most people probably have on their bucket list to visit the Panama Canal at least once. I personally did it, did this twice in the same year. I did a 10 day cruise. And then later in the year, I did the 11 day version of the same cruise. The only difference is the 11 day stops in Cartagena, Colombia, where the 10 day cruise does not. So this is what we call a, 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 a Panama Canal Sun Fair cruise. It's a partial, transit of the of the Panama Canal. So if you don't have the full, uh, you know, 17 days to do the full transit of the canal, this is a great option. Um, it goes through the first set of locks there at Catan, the Catan locks, and then you spend a little bit of time on Catan Lake before we head on to Cologne. Um, great itinerary. Again, you get Half Moon Key, you get Aruba, Curacao, late nights in both of those destinations. It's an incredible opportunity. And then if you really want it, like I mentioned, the biggest difference between the 10 and, well, the only difference between the 10 and the 11 day itinerary is on the 11 day, you get to um, visit Cartagena, Colombia, which is an incredible, incredible destination. It's an incredible place to do a food and wine, uh, a um, food tour in partnership with Food and Wine Magazine, which I personally have done. And that's what I did when I was in Cartagena. Incredible, incredible, incredible experience. Um, all right, so moving forward, let me share with you. Uh, I mentioned, I've mentioned this all along, the food and wine short excursions. Just want to touch on it one last time. We have these incredible short excursions in partnership with Food and Wine Magazine and ports all over the world, even in the Caribbean, where you wouldn't think they were such a, such a foodie destination. But in Aruba, we offer a, a Caribbean barbecue and pub crawl. In uh, Curacao, you can jump into um, one of the chefs, uh, the Caribbean, we call it the Caribbean Spice Girl, in preparing a memorable uh, island lunch for you to enjoy. Jamaica, you know, you can enjoy the local jerk hut, enjoy delicious home style lunch at Mrs. T's Kitchen, just all types of culinary experiences that you can immerse yourself in in the Caribbean with our shore excursions. All right, so I get asked this a lot, you know, what's it like to cruise with Holland America Line during the holidays? Um, you know, and I want to share just some photographs. These are photographs that my coworkers, I, I reached out to them and said, hey, for those of you that have been on a cruise with, the, with us in the holidays, can you send me some of your photos? I personally have not been on one, but I wanted to share personal, personal photos so that I'm, so that you have, so I have the credibility that these are real and this is what happens. So um, Santa, of course, rides on the the front of the ship, as you know, um, with Holland America Line, that's where he always rides in the holidays. Um, so look for him if you're if you're true, cruising with us in the Caribbean this this holiday season. Um, and when you pull into Half Moon Key, he's going to greet you on a wave runner, and you may see him once you're there on riding one of these aqua trikes. So really cool. And then a couple of my coworkers, or my one of my coworkers and his wife, enjoying Half Moon Key, as you can see in the picture down on the bottom. Uh, with their festive uh, holiday hats on as well. So um, this is one of the things you'll see. Another thing that we do, we decorate our ships. Obviously, we go out, we go over, the, we go 
over a board with decorating, um, just a beautiful in the atrium, this beautiful sculpture of all the, the boxes wrapped in holiday wrapper, uh, some, some um, really cool modern twists on a, on a holiday tree there. And then the staff on board our ships really get into the holidays. We have contests with our staff for each department um, within on board the ship. They each create like a gingerbread house and then the the, 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 they have judging for each ship and just a really nice display for um, our guests to enjoy and experience. And you can see there the on the bottom there, that's one of our lounges that has some just some Christmas decorations. So just so you know, there's all types of festivities. Uh, there's the staff. They really on formal night they get to they love to dress up with their holiday hats. And uh, I mean again, the ships truly the ships really go all out and decorate for the holidays <coughs> right after starting right. <coughs> pardon me starting right around Thanksgiving. And then a lot of the activities, there'll be trivia focused around the holidays. There'll be um, lots of onboard immerse, immersive experience, experiences surrounded around the holidays, um, culinary experiences, including entertainment, um, lots and lots of activities. So just know that if, if you're on the on the uh, ship with us, you're, you're during any of these holidays, you're not gonna miss out on experiencing them. So. Just some just some photos I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and then I want to share with you one of Holland America Line's newest promotions. Um, and this is our Have It All promotion. Now, this is a new way for you to experience the world of Holland America Line while enjoying some amazing savings. So moving forward now, for one fare, you can enjoy a premium package that includes four of our most popular amenities and saves you 50% or more on um, compared to buying these separately. So again, the Have It All is gonna include four of our most popular amenities, which would be a shore excursion. So essentially, the longer you cruise, the more you can explore. Um, and I'll walk you through what, how that, I'll, I'll share with you on the next slide, kind of how that breaks down. You're gonna get a drink package for, for the guests in the cabin, the first and second guests in the cabin, and you, and you can choose from beer, I'm sorry, wine, beer, spirits, cocktails, specialty coffees, um, and it's all included with no bar surcharges. Um, specialty dining, depending on the length of your cruise, you're gonna get uh, uh, one or two specialty dining uh, experiences in our restaurants on board our ships. And then of course, guests one and two are gonna receive complimentary Wi-Fi. So this is gonna be included now in your, in your, in your cruise fare, the Have It All will be, um, if you choose this cruise fare. It's included. Um, and again, depending on the length of your cruise, let's say we're going on a 10 day cruise, you'd get to choose up to, you get to choose two short, short excursions up to $100 in value per tour. Um, or you could take $100 off any of our two tours. Let's say that there's a tour that you want to go on that's a little bit more than $100, you're going to get a $100 discount. Again, you're going to get that beverage package. On a 10 to 20 day cruise, you're going to get two nights in specialty dining, which would be in you're, you know, depending on the ship you're on is going to be either um, Pinnacle Grill and Canaletto or Pinnacle Grill and Tamarin, just depending on which ship you're on. And then of course the, the Wi-Fi surf package, which uh, is more than enough speed of internet for you to be able to connect back home through email, through social media, be able to um, really stay connected if you need to be. And this just gives you a good overview. And then, and then secondly, the next, promotion that we have going on because you're here with me today. Um, if you book a cruise by July 28th through the cruise web, we're going to give you some extra money to spend on board the ship, depending on the length of your sailing and the type of cabin you book. So for instance, let's say that you decide to book a 10-day Caribbean cruise over the holidays and you book a veranda or balcony cabin we're gonna give you $75 additional monies to spend on board the ship. So that's just a credit to your ship account for you to use on whatever you wanna use on once you're on board the ship. Um, next, I'll talk through really quickly about travel well. Now, Holland America Line cruises in 2021 um, to Alaska and the Caribbean currently are available for guests who have received their final dose of approved COVID-19 vaccine at least 14 days prior to the beginning of your cruise, and you'll need to prove 
provide proof of vaccination. Now, as I'm talking about these travel well um, protocols, please keep in mind that this is all centered around the current CDC guidelines, um, and th these these this could change depending on what their guidelines are. So just keep that in mind that this travel well is very fluid, again, because as we all know, this is ever evolving and changing, and the CDC guidelines are changing and updating constantly. So the best thing to do is, you know, continue to stay in touch with your travel advisor to make sure that you're, um, that you understand what our travel well is and that you understand that what the protocols will be uh, in place. So just know that you will, at the, at the present time, you have to have approved forms of documentation um, showing that you've been vaccinated. And we will let you know, depending on the CDC guidelines, what that proof of documentation is once you're booked and closer to your departure date. Um, you know, there is a lot more details about our health, there's a lot of details about our health protocols um, that will be provided to you once you're booked and get closer to your departure. Um, you also, I highly recommend that you check, keep, keep in touch with your travel advisor and uh, on up to date is what these requirements might be. And just know that um, they, these travel requirements remain fluid. And it's crucial that when you make reservations that you provide your travel advisor with accurate contact information so they can convey that to Holland America Line just in case we need to update at the last minute and we can't get in touch with your travel advisor. Um, I'm just gonna go through a, a brief overview of what, the, of what the protocols are planned as of today, but keep in mind as guidance from health authorities change, these could change as well. Again, this is very fluid as we all know. So right now, guests should ensure they understand all requirements to travel to, from, to or from their home country for the destinations and for the destinations that you're planning on visiting. Um, details continue to be updated regularly and official websites and apps developed by the government agencies and tourism ministries are rec the recommended resources for these for this information as well as your travel advisor. Um, so prior to your cruise, you're going to want to review all travel protocols. You're going to want to download our Navigator app, <clears throat> and then you're going to you will need to complete the health questionnaire and at-risk acceptance through that Navigator app before you even come to the ship, before you even board your plane if you're flying to meet up with your cruise. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, now, during embarkation and while cruising, you know, guests testing and screening, fully vaccinated guests, they will not be required pre-cruise te pre testing. So if you're fully vaccinated, you will not be required to um, test for COVID. Right now, um, our first ship returns to service uh, this Saturday, the 27th of uh, July. Oops, I'm sorry. And uh, right now, this particular sailing, I'm sorry, on the 24th of July, not the 27th, the 24th of July, um, all the guests on board that ship are fully vaccinated because that's what's required right now, right? So depending on what cruise you're going to be taking with this, that could change. So keep in mind, these protocols, again, are just fluid. Right now, masks um, and distancing are not required while you're on board this ship. Um, however, there could be instances uh, on board the ship when they might be required if if social distancing is not um, not available, so to speak. Um, and then just know that for sure for short excursions, masks are recommended while you're indoors. And depending on your itinerary, some of those destinations could have other protocols in place. So make sure that you again stay in touch with your travel advisor stay, to stay up to date. And then of course we'll have hand washing sinks and hand sanitizer dispensable hand sanitizer dispensers available at all of our venue entrances and in high traffic areas throughout the ship. Um, know that we have highly trained doctors and nurses, plus an award-winning medical center equipped with COVID-appropriate testing and treatment capabilities. Um, we have an enhanced air, air filtration with upgraded HVAC systems designed to replace air within public spaces and staterooms every five to six minutes. And then Holland America Line has always been known for our 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 sanitation protocols, 
but we have even increased that even more. So we have in, enhanced sanitation on board all of our ships in public areas and in staterooms, um, just so you're aware of that. And then while cruising, you know, all entertainment programming and restaurants will be open as usual. Dining reservations will be easier than ever to make on our Navigator app before or during the cruise and no masks or social distancing requirement for vaccinated guests. And then again, short experiences, short side experiences, we're gonna follow whatever the health protocols are for the ports that you're visiting. I mentioned our new app, the Navigator. Uh, the Navigator app, you can download this anytime prior to your cruise. Um, and I'll, uh, you can log in once you're booked with and start using it immediately. Um, and you can complete your online check-in as well as your health, pro, your health uh, questionnaire and, and protocols. Uh, you can also keep this app on your phone after you're sailing where you can look at the history of your cruise. Um, there's lots of great things you can do on, on board the ship with the Navigator app as well. Um, you can book short excursions. You can personalize your itinerary. You can see what's going on on board the ship that day. Um, it's really a, a great tool for you to utilize when you're when you're cruising with us. So with that, uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to open it up for questions and answers. Uh, uh, or actually, questions because you're not going to provide the answers. I am. <laughs> so. Again, if you have questions, go ahead and type those in the chat box. Um, first of all, I, I see the first question that's come in. It says, um, I was recently at a resort in the Caribbean and my experience was less than great due to the fact that the resort was short staffed. What will my experience be on Holland America? What will, my, what will my experience be like on Holland America line? Can I expect long delays and lines due to staffing? You know, that's a great, great question. Um, you know, there's lots of uh, memes going around on social media of, you know, short staff, people's experiences at different places, whether it's in a resort, a restaurant, whatever it may, may be. Know that Holland America Line, we are starting our ship's backup service back up at 100% staffing levels, that the same staffing levels we had prior to COVID. So we will be completely fully staffed. So you can expect the same, if you've cruised with us before, you can expect the same experience that you've had with us in the past. You're not gonna have long delays. You're not gonna experience long lines. We are 100% staffed so that you don't have to worry about what your experience is gonna be like. You don't have to worry about, am I gonna be having to wait hours to be able to eat? You won't have to worry about that because again, we're gonna be 100% staffed. Uh, starting from day one, fully staffed on board our ships. So um, next, let's see, next question, will I be expected to wear a mask if I am fully vaccinated? Again, great, great question. I touched on this a minute ago. Um, we are following all CDC guidelines and recommendations, um, and we'll we are going to continue to adjust accordingly based on those guidelines. So again, it's a very fluid situation. Um, as I mentioned before, our first sailing is scheduled to take place this coming Saturday, the 24th. And all of our guests and staff on board that particular on those vo on that voyage will be fully vaccinated. So masks will not be required, except in cases where social distancing is not feasible on board the ship. Now, as far as ports of call, depending on where the ship is going, it's going to be whatever the local protocol is. So we can't we can't control if you're in a port and have to, we can't control that on what their protocols are. We can only control the protocols that are on board the ship. And again, masks will not be required for fully vaccinated guests as long as, uh, except where social distancing, social distancing is not feasible. All right, so someone asks, or the next question that came in says, with the Have It All promotion, can I make specialty dining reservations in advance? So that is a great question. Yes, you can. You can make your, you can make, you can make reservations uh, if you have the if you're booked on the Habit All promotion. You can make your dining reservations in advance for the specialty restaurant, either on the Navigator app, like I mentioned earlier, or you can also make those online at HollandAmericaLine.com. I'm sorry, HollandAmerica.com. Once you create your on once you create your online account, um, you can also book your your free excursion, free short excursion in advance as well. So great things you don't have to wait to do these things once you're on board the ship and I strongly encourage you to book those in advance so you can get the times that you want for the dining as well as the excursions that you want to book 
And let's see, I have time for one more question um, right now. Actually, um, is there a cost to utilize the Navigator app? Great question. So first of all, on land, no, there's no cost. You're just gonna be downloading that at your home before you even get anywhere near the ship, so no. Now, once you're on board the ship, there is no cost for the, there is no cost to utilize the Navigator app. So once you're on board the ship and you've logged into the Navigator app, you're going to be on what's called the ship's closed Wi-Fi network. So the internal network of the ship only that doesn't go out to anywhere else. And it allows you to use all of the app's features at no cost. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you download the app in advance and remember that some of the features will only work once you're on board the ship. But download that in advance. That's where you can um, complete your free cruise help questionnaire you can then have access to closer to your selling. You'll have, you'll have access to your digital boarding pass to show once you arrive to board the ship. And then once you're on board the ship, you'll be able to access all of the features of the app. But you can still book short excursions and dining in advance utilizing that app as well. So with that, I wanna thank you um, so much for giving me the gift of your time and being with me today. Um, I want to thank the Cruise Web for organizing this presentation. Um, if you have additional questions that didn't come up, feel free to reach out um, to the Cruise Web. I'll give you the, I'll share that phone number with you in just a moment, just in case you don't have that. But please take care of yourselves and your family during this time. And I'm going to go ahead and answer, uh, I've answered the questions. Again, if you have any additional questions, feel free to type those in the chat box and we'll get to those as well.